Good morning and welcome to Symphony Sunday. I'm your host, William Neal. I'm so glad to be back in the studio live after being away for a couple of months. Um, fate would have it that the program, one of the programs that I pull out of my archive for the January program that I was assigned to was about war. Well, and my colleague Ed Martinez was so pleased to tell me that his show following my week was all about peace. So anyway, welcome to my program. I've entitled it The Soul of Europe, Eastern Europe. So the tone is celebrating Eastern European composers. I've got four that I've found excellent recordings of who are alive and living composers uh, writing music in today's world. So I'll be featuring these works throughout the program. I want to get back to, cycle back to our soul of Europe composers. There's a wonderful piece that I'd like to share with you, a song. It's entitled, in German, Frühling Grüße, Spring Greeting, and it's by the Molovian composer Ravskia Tumaha, uh, Natalie is her name, and this is a song she composed on a text that I'll read to you later, but let's hear it.
Kirche schlecht unser Leid, die Friedrich ist größer, meiner Gast und Zeit. Gast und Zeit. Gast und Yes, that was on a poem by Nicholas Lenau. Um, After a long frost, how gently blows the breeze, a beggar child brings me spring violets. The child is sad that such wretchedness should bring me spring's first greeting, and yet a dear pledge of beautiful days is still dear to me when given by misery. Our suffering thus brings posterity, spring greetings of happier days. Beautiful poem, beautiful setting, very expressive. We heard tenor Sergei Pilipecci and pianist Olga Piacheva performing. Yes, the whole idea of spring relating to Lent and Easter the struggle and resurrection of life, that kind of thing. So I'm so grateful for these wonderful composers that I've been communicating with through Natalia Rashaskia Tumaha. So she helped me select some of the others that we'll be hearing. <laughs> 